Star Wars Jedi Survivor officially just got delayed for a few extra weeks. Thankfully, that's not too long, but it is a little bit of a delay. So we're going to have to go through and see what the new release date is, as well as read the statement that EA Star Wars just put out about Star Wars Jedi Survivor and tell you all that we need to know so far about this delay. If this is your first time here, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to stay up to date with more videos about Jedi Survivor and other Star Wars games in the future. And let's get right into this video. So, EA Star Wars just tweeted, For the last three years, the Jedi team here at Respawn has poured its collective heart and soul into Star Wars Jedi Survivor, and we are proud to say that the next chapter in the tale of Cal Kestis is content complete. We are now focused entirely on the final stage, bug fixes to enhance performance, stability, polish, and most importantly, the player experience. Jedi Survivor is a direct response to the feedback from our community, delivering expansive destinations to explore, evolve combat, and traversal, and of course, the continuation of Cal and BD's story. Making this game has truly made us a better team, and we have pushed ourselves at every level to make this the Star Wars sequel our fans expected from Respawn and Lucasfilm Games. In order for the team to hit the Respawn quality bar, provide the team the time they need, and achieve the level of polish our fans deserve, we have added six crucial weeks to our release schedule. Star Wars Jedi Survivor will now launch globally on April 28th. Thanks to EA and Respawn for giving us the time to deliver the best experience for our players, and to all of you for understanding. May the Force be with you, Stig and the Star Wars Jedi team. All right, not a significant delay. Can't be too upset, thankfully. Again, only a couple weeks. April 28th is not that far after, so can't really complain. Of course, bug fixes are very important. If you want to have a polished experience, you have to have the baseline stuff figured out, and if they don't have a complete, solid, smooth-running game, like how most of Fallen Order was, there definitely would be some pushback and disappointment. So I'm glad that they're taking this extra time to go ahead and make sure that the game is as polished and up to par as the first game should be. Right now, this is all the news we have about Star Wars Jedi Survivor, and I just want to make this quick video. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to stay up to date with more Jedi Survivor news, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to stay up to date with other Star Wars games as well. And I will see you in the next video.